Hello everyone, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today I am back at South Down Motorhomes in Portsmouth and I'm having a look at what they've got in stock. They seem to have quite a few new vehicles in uh, and some second-hand ones if you're in the market for a second-hand one, so why not pop along and have a look. But the first one I'm going to take a look at is this Corrado. As you can see, it's £77,740. It's got a silver cap, semi-integrated. And down the side here we've got the trimmer heating, ventilation, toilet cassette, your water inlet and your garage. I don't know if that's open to be honest. No, it's locked. It's got a whole back though on it. At the back here, you can see the Corrado graphics. It's the T457 Pro Plus. Um, there's several different sizes of Corrado here today. It does have an Omnister awning and an outside light. This will be your gas locker, which is also locked, I'm afraid, sorry. Um, and fridge vents, so it tells you roughly the layout of the interior by looking at the outside conditions. Obviously the door is nice and wide with a window, opening window with blind. Okay, let's have a look inside. We've got the German bed layout, as they call it, two singles that convert into a double. As you can see, that slides out. And then there will be an infill cushion that sits down there to make it into one large bed. We've got pocket storage over the top and two cupboards obviously and some lights there. Nice headboard, it looks like you could sit up in bed quite easily in that one to have your morning cuppa. And obviously if you don't want it to be in one big bed this just pushes back. And you still have a middle section and stairs up. This access panel here. Oh, that's got some nice underfloor storage there. That's quite a big space. Under the bed, we've got some storage, which goes down quite a long way. It's quite deep, actually. And it does have a hanging rail. I'm not sure with the Corrado whether it lifts up. I shall have an investigate. No, it doesn't hang. It doesn't lift up. There is a sprung base though so that's good keeps a bit of airflow and gives you an extra bit of bounce and there's ventilation to the cupboards basically under the mattress and again an automatic light actually when you open the door there's a little shelf in this one rather than hanger uh, but it is a nice deep space that and there's a socket underneath there to turn your lights on and off Nice big cupboard too, nice and deep. We have got some nets, but we've got the solid plasticky lines and obviously the fly nets as well. So looking out from the bedroom, down the van, you can see there's a door to your left here, which does actually close over and make an ensuite area, which is nice. And then there we have got a skylight a shelf, a little sink, and a toilet. Some under sink storage there. Plastic sink, nice little tap. And some lighting, we've got some nice hooks up here. We've got a little storage cupboard at the side here as well with little shelves with lip on so things don't fall out after you've been travelling. A couple of hook and rail things here. The toilet obviously swivels around so when you're not in travel mode you can get access without having to squeeze into a, a smaller space. Shelf, 
no strap. I'd be tempted to add an elasticated strap or something to that. So if you are storing anything up there, even if it's just towels, they don't all fall out when you stop traveling. This allows you to open the skylight. So you push both of those handles up and then the fly screen goes over the top of it there. We have got a mirror and a couple of hanging towel rails. Nice to have a big long mirror. And then opposite, we've got the shower area, which is quite a good size. It's got a step in it because of the wheel, but it does have two drain holes. So if you're slightly wonky, it still drains away. It's a folding concertina door, obviously. Yeah, not bad. Let's get in there and see, because I'm not a small person. As you can see, I'm five foot nine. There's plenty of headroom uh, and there's the very useful hanging rail for when you've got wet coats and things like that. That's really useful. And yes, it's got yep, a light in here and everything. So a good size shower. You can easily wash your hair and move around. So that's quite handy. It's got a strap to close it off. So if somebody's still in bed, you can slide that across. It's quite narrow, I would say, with both doors closed. Um, but you know it's not a huge van it's not a great big long van there is a step I have to be careful because my my van doesn't have a step and I keep forgetting about them there is a step up into the bathroom area but you can close the door off and keep it private so as you can see it's a reasonable step up to be honest um, it's not a small one that you're going to trip over but you do need to be aware of it when you open the bathroom door because obviously the door is flush with that step we have got in the kitchen area a huge big storage area underneath the fridge that's really useful quite a big fridge too to be honest so i'll find out all the sizes i'll put them on the screen for you that is a big fridge, like that. And obviously a freezer compartment, again, quite a large size. And just above it, we've got the controls for your batteries, your water and your waste, and your Truma system for um, gas and water and things like that. Obviously it's off at the moment. And above we have a small cupboard Oh, gosh, with a very strong hinge. As you can see, there's a metal contraption that comes out of the top cupboard. I'm assuming it's a TV mount, but I don't want to force it and twiddle it about in case it's uh, for something else. But that looks to me like somewhere you would put a TV. It's facing the wrong way, in my opinion, for that. But um, maybe that's just me not working it right out. Obviously, if you didn't need a TV, that would make a useful storage cupboard for baking trays and things like that. And above we have got quite a large skylight with screens opening, which is good. Nice wide doorway, that is good. A little bit of a step um, here, but there's a nice grab rail for ease of getting in. And again, another mirror to bounce the light around and some coat hooks, which is always handy. On this side, we have got another cupboard, little cupboard, some light switches. It's not plugged in at the moment, I'm afraid. We have got blinds, meshes, opening window and curtains. It comes in a pale grey, sort of woolly, really nice actually that. It's quite nice and it's obviously a seat belted position. There's one on each side, so it is a four seater four seat belted positions uh, again another window opposite so it is nice and light and airy in here another cupboard the table as you can see folds in half and when it's open it's a nice big seating area that it's it, lots of floor space i would say this area here in the entranceway is lots of floor space and lots of seating obviously the captain's chairs turn around to join in so it's a good sized table and even better that it folds up and gets out of the way when you want to to travel it is height adjustable as well it's got a handle underneath there so that's good there's another step up here into the driving area 
We're on the Fiat Ducato. Seats seem quite big. Let's have a look. look. So yes, we've got a sort of, um, it's all fabric, but it's not leather or suede or anything, but it feels a sort of suede texture. And then you've got the, the color finish, whichever color finish you choose. Uh, obviously you've got all your controls on your steering wheel, but you have got a 12 volt socket and a USB socket and a USC socket actually in the dashboard there. This one is automatic, which is very good. It's got nice light uh, finish at the top, so it doesn't feel claustrophobic around your head or anything like that. And we have got a lovely big skylight above, so it's letting loads of light in on this beautiful sunny day in Portsmouth. A little storage area here. Again, I'd be tempted to add a sort of retainer there just to stop things falling out while you're driving. But skylight opens, so that's nice. And of course, what you also have is, if we can get back far enough to show you, a drop down bed that goes over the table area. So I'll just see if I can work that for you. So you literally push this button across, which releases the catch, and then you pull it down. And now I'm doing this single handed, which it's quite sturdy obviously it's got a good grip so i'll just use both hands excuse me there we go i've got it pulled down now it's quite firm so it's obviously got a good bracket on it uh, and then you've got slight cutaway on it but it's a double bed a slight cutaway so that you can actually still get out of the door if somebody's still in bed in the morning and it has got curtains that come around here to screen it off not on the other side but there is a screen on the skylight and there seems to be an overbed light as well so that's good there is a sprung system underneath for ventilation and uh, extra comfort there's also a net so that you don't fall off the end i'm assuming there's a ladder somewhere but i don't know for sure because how else would you get in so I'm assuming there's a ladder, maybe it's in the garage. But to close it back up, you literally just push. And you see how quickly that went up. Just on the side, there is a skylight over the bed as well. So when the bed is down, it's still quite light. And as you can hear, it clicks firmly into place. There's also some catches here for hanging your net. So that's good. There is a cupboard over the kitchen for all your plates and things and a socket under here and some switches and some down lights sink has the usual cover to give you some extra work surface we've got a small hob just two burner on this one and underneath we've got a Thetford duplex small oven and grill there is another socket under here and light switches and your controls for your gas and oven underneath we got a nice big drawer and keep a few pans and things in this side we have got a bin your water control and some more storage little hook for your tea towel I do like details because they're the things that are practical and make life easier to live in it nice drawer there for your cutlery and some more odds and pieces and again the sort of hook and rail system that you can hang things on so from the cab area here's the overview of the space as you can see if you've got pets the floor space down here is is good or children for that matter not just pets um, but yes there is that step so you do have to be careful getting in and out um, and it is quite a high step compared to the one into the bed so they're different heights from the bed area that's your view the headspace is not huge when you're up on the bed if you're tall I mean I'm, I'm quite tall for a woman but um, yeah in the bed that's oh, because of the skylight but over the bed it's slightly more I would say you're not going to bank your head on it unless you're like seven foot tall or something. We have got a little storage area in the entrance as well, so that's always useful. Normally for shoes. Ooh, that's actually bigger than anticipated. Um, I don't know if you can see in there. 
There's the seat belt for the, this seating position. You've got your step and your lighting controls there. I've just noticed down here too, there's another socket. So if you're working at the table and a couple of USB charging points as well. So they're very handy. Yeah, so actually I'm quite impressed with this vehicle. Uh, it's a good price, 77,000. I mean, it's cheaper than some camper vans to be fair. And it does sleep four people. So it's a good small family sized van. I'll put all the details in the description. So if you're interested in this one or any of the other Corrados they've got in stock, why not come along and have a word with the salespeople here. They're happy to help you. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not hit that subscribe button and ding that bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of Bella's big adventures.